<laughs> well, that's a fantastic start to the day. That's a piebald whitetail deer. That is not what we are here for. We are actually for the animal that is behind it. Because I got some intel from my brother who has been hunting around on a lot of different maps for a lot of different species recently. And uh, he says that brown bear have the same drink time as black bear do. And considering these guys are walking around the water in the early morning, it's starting to look like that. And what? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I just saw there. But anyway, welcome back to the new playthrough here on The Hunter Call of the Wild. This is an interesting start to the day. We not only have a piebald whitetail right there that is now uh, dead, along with that one, but we also potentially have a new drink time for brown bear as well as grizzly bear. So if the brown bear have their time changed, we'll shoot a few of them and then go check out the grizzlies to see if this it's the same for them because I have not played on any of my maps that have those bears pre-update. It's all been post-update. So hopefully we can find their zones. So we do have one problem though. These links right here are spooking off the bears. So I may have to go to a different area because yeah, there's no way that these bears are going to stay here. Uh, maybe if we're lucky, we can go find one of their zones on the ground, but uh, we're definitely not going to be able to hunt them. I don't think because these little dudes are just making it super, super tough. What is even going on? This bear is just chilling, and that lynx is still, <laughs> still, uh, vertical? I, I guess vertical is what you would call that. Either way, it it's being weird. Typical lynx activities, not gonna lie. But either way, we're over to our whitetail. Let's grab this buck 208, and let's quickly move over here and get our beautiful piebald. That is an awesome thing to see. 196, and we've got our first piebald buck of the playthrough. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. Let's go ahead and screenshot this beauty. I think we're not going to tax it yet. We're going to click save harvest instead because I only have 16K and I really need to think about buying more tents and stuff like that right now. Uh, we'll save this harvest until uh, we get a little bit more money. Yeah, yeah, it's fleeing. Okay, well, I kind of expected that. Let's go ahead and pick up this lynx right here. Nice little level 623, 63. Almost made gold, but not quite there. But I mean, even a silver one gives pretty good money. So that's really all we care about with a uh, with a lynx like this. That is a big boy lynx right there. Wow, a mythical. I rarely see mythical lynx. That's actually kind of cool. Let's get a little bit closer and take it down because that's going to give really good money. Man, when they're in their feeding zones, they move so much. <laughs> To a point where it's like impossible to get a good shot into them. Uh, what is that thing doing? Oh, oh gosh, I killed it. I can't spot it. I killed it. It's just, it's stuck in an animation. What was that? I guess I shot it like right as it started going into a new animation. And so it finished it before it died. Man, Lynx really are one of the wonkiest animals in the game when you think about it. From the like standing on its head to <laughs> just like spooking everything and making things attack them to doing whatever that was. Definitely uh, some interesting stuff with these little lynx, but they're, they're kind of adorable. So I kind of love them anyway. Let's go ahead and grab this one. See what it is. 1,484 cash is a 26.57. Not bad. And that is going to give us a skill point as well. I think we're going to put that in spotting knowledge so that we can get the score estimates and stuff like that whenever we spot an animal. Wow. It's true. It's true. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is crazy. It took a couple of time resets and shooting some of these links out of the area. But sure enough, the bears are drinking four to eight. That's, that's crazy. That is crazy that none of this was in the patch notes. I just, wow. Well, you guys know now. We didn't know before, but we know now. Bear drink time is indeed four to eight in the morning for all bear species. I mean, obviously we have not checked out grizzlies yet, but I assume that my brother probably wouldn't be lying to me because uh, he, he definitely wasn't with the brown bear. That's for sure. Jeez, another one. You know what? Let's just go ahead and take a shot on one of these if we can. 
We'll go for this level four just because that one's gonna be the easiest and then get that one as well if we can. I think that should be solid. Wow, I missed that four on the first shot, I just realized. That is so lucky that it stuck around for a little bit because that could have been bad. Oh, we got an alarmed level six as well. Oh gosh, man. We messed up that shot quite bad. Uh, we might have got the follow up though. I don't know. He darted off kind of quickly. Let's see. What does it say? Four to eight. Yeah, it says four to eight. Wow. Okay, so that means a couple of things. One, it of course means that we're now going to be hunting bears in the daytime across the board, no matter what bear you're going for. But it also means that if you had brown bear on your map before the update, you're going to have to go to their old drink time and shoot all of the ones in the old drink time to get them into the new time. The only reason we didn't have to with this particular account right here is because this is my new playthrough account and I didn't go on Rev on Thule until after the update. So if you go on to Rev or Medved or Yukon for the very first time after this update has already released, you won't have to go to the old drink time and shoot all of your old bears because you'll just have a new population generated the first time you open the map. But if you've hunted on any of those three maps pre-update, you're going to have to go to the old time, which is 20 to 0, and shoot all of them in their drink zones in order to get the new bears to respawn and go to the new time. That is crazy. That is crazy. You know, it's such a nice thing to have them in the daytime, but at the same time, I, they should have done a population reset. And I don't know why we weren't told about this either. It's crazy. Wait. <laughs> There's no way I hit that. Are you joking? I actually hit that shot? Wow. Uh, I didn't even say anything because I didn't think I'd hit it. That's crazy. And there is our second brown bear. I believe this is the level four, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is our four. So that's the shot that ended up hitting. Wow, 363. No wonder we missed on the first shot. It was way further away than I expected it to be. Three days later. Well, everybody, apologies if I sound a little bit different right now. It is now, I believe, two days after I recorded the first segment of this video. And uh, yeah, we've got some drink time grizzly bears now in the brand new drink time. Four to eight for grizzly bear. Man, all the bears drink four to eight now. This is honestly kind of crazy that they did this change. It didn't really even tell us. But it is what it is. I suppose this is really going to shake things up. There we go. Get shots into both of those. Actually, you know what? Let's just get them all. Let's just get them all. I, I think we got them all. I might be completely wrong. Well, hopefully we did. You know, I can't remember what I said in the previous part of this video because it's been a couple days since I recorded it. But remember that if you do want to see these bears in the brand new drink times, if you have hunted on any of these maps that they're on previously, then you will have to go through and kill all of your bears in their old drink time if you want to see them in the new drink time because the ones that are existing on your map already will still have their old time and you have to shoot them and get the respawns in order to have uh, bears in the new time. So the new ones that you shoot will have uh, the new time, but anything that was still there pre-update is going to have the old drink time. So you kind of got to go through and like cycle all of the old bears out and get the new ones in there. And then you'll start seeing them pop up in the new time. Unless you've just never opened Yukon Valley before or you've never opened Reb before, then you would have them at the new time from the beginning. Because whenever you open a map for, for the first time, it's going to generate a population. And, you know, if it's generating it post update, it's going to have the brand new time. So that's kind of how that works. There we go. We got three bears down. <laughs> Love to see it, man. Love to see it. Three beautiful grizzly bears. But that's going to be it for this video. I don't have too much time left before I got to edit this video and get it uploaded. So we're going to go ahead and end it. If you enjoy, leave a comment down below. If you didn't, well, thank you for watching anyway. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.